Have you tried making a great soup for your family lately? Hi, I'm Miranda Christmas and I'm the chef at Sophie's Fall River and I'm going to show you why making soup for your family is better because. It's better because you can control the amount of sodium that you put into your soup. You can also control the amount of fat, but even better than that, you can control the amount of nutrition that goes into your soup. And when I mean nutrition, I mean a lot. With an alphabet soup, which is what we're going to be making today, you can actually literally eat the rainbow, which is fabulous in terms of nutrition. It's also great in terms of packing some of those extra veggies into your child's lunch. So we're going to start off by making our uh, vegetable soup, our alphabet soup, and we've got a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and to that we're going to add some great garlic. Now, when it comes to garlic, you can add a little or you can add a lot. Unless you're a vampire, you can really add as much as you like. We also have some fabulous uh, veggies here. We've got chopped up red peppers, green peppers, celery, onions. All of these things can be found at our Sobeys Fall River already chopped up. So if you're a little bit nervous about the fact that these are all cut into tiny little squares, don't be. You can't cut a carrot into a square, no big deal. You can still make this soup and you can pick up all of these veggies already freshly chopped at your Sobeys store. So we're going to add those in and get nice and fragrant. Smells fantastic. I'm going to add a little bit of color to those because obviously when we add a little bit of color to our veggies, it adds some caramelization of the sugars that are already naturally in your vegetables, which adds a great amount of flavor to the soup. And then from there, we're going to add in, we've got some stock, we've got some uh, crushed tomatoes. These are all great products that we have here. The complimentary chicken broth has 35% less sodium, so it's a great healthy choice for you and your family. Soup. We're going to make a big, you know, not a massive amount, but a good good amount so you can enjoy it as a supper if you like with a nice hearty piece of whole wheat bread, or you can enjoy it and pack it up for lunches. This makes an awesome, awesome lunchbox snack for your family. We have some crushed tomatoes as well too. Alright, so we're going to bring this to a boil and then reduce it to a bit of a simmer. It's been simmering now for about 10 minutes and then to that we're going to add some zucchini. I'd like to add the zucchini later because if you add it too early on, zucchini is a really delicate vegetable and it's just going to fall apart on you. And also too, another reason why making your own vegetable soup is better because is you can add in some great protein. And it doesn't have to immediately when we think of protein, we think of meat. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can add in great proteins into your soups without adding meat. Certainly that's an option, um, but you can use lentils, you can use chickpeas, you can use kidney beans, you can use red ones, white ones. Today I'm going to use lentils. These are brown lentils and they're fabulous because they stay firm. Um, not all lentils do that. Red lentils, of course, will get mushy when you cook with them. So these ones stay a little bit firm and they're also about the same size as the alphabets that we're going to be using in the soup, which is fantastic if you have a fussy eater in the house. You can kind of sneak these in and they'll never notice and they're a really, really good source of protein and they're also high in fiber. sneak those into our soup like that and then in addition to that we've got you can really add whatever you like in terms of vegetables but again my focus today is trying to get um, you know a great soup together that's going to have us eating every color of the rainbow so I've got some corn you can add peas there's beans you can buy complements mixes that already have these things all together in one mix so it's really up to you with what your family's needs in terms of what you want to put in in terms of vegetables Which is another reason why you should be making your own soup because you can literally put in all of your family's flavor, favorite foods into the soup. So we've got some corn, we've got some peas, we're going to add those in, and then of course we're going to add our alphabets. So these are fabulous, they're organic um, little vegetable alphabets, they're found in our wellness section and what I've done with them is actually pre-cook them. Now you can easily put them right into your soup and cook them in the soup. The only thing is, is that when you do do that, your soup kind of gets a little cloudy in terms of color. Now if that's not an issue for you and your family, 
throw them in the soup and cook them right in. But these ones today, I've cooked them till they're even before al dente. They're still firm. I'm going to cook them in the soup. They're going to cook a little longer, and I want them to be able to still have some good texture to them. So they're going to go in the soup now. And now we have all of our great vegetables in there. And I've got one last thing that I'm going to be adding into this soup. And this is a really important one. You can add spinach. Baby spinach is great. But we also have this fabulous compliments baby kale. The fabulous thing about kale is that it's very high in fiber. It's also high in iron. It's higher in vitamin K, vitamin A, vitamin C. It's got antioxidants in it. And you normally think, when we think of calcium, we naturally think, well, you know, milk. That's, that's the first thing we go to. But kale is actually high in calcium as well, too. So we're going to add that into our soup, and it's going to wilt right in there. All right. So now we need to do the seasoning. And we've chosen some really good low-salt products. Our, our corn is complements balanced low-salt. Um, our peas are complements balanced low salt. We've also chosen a low salt um, uh, stock that we're going to be using for making our soup. So at this point in time, we're not going to add that salt back in there. We're going to have a lot of flavor from all the great ingredients that we've already added into the soup. So here's a great one my family loves, fresh ground pepper. This adds a lot of flavor into your soup and you really don't need to worry about obviously sodium when you're adding that into your soup and you're getting a great amount of flavor in there as well too. So we're big pepper lovers and you can really add in as much as you like depending on how much heat you like in your soup. So we have that and we're just going to bring this all together and voila, we have a fabulous uh, vegetable soup. It really didn't take us much longer than 10 minutes to put together. If you use some of our fabulously already cut convenience veggies that are available at our Sobe stores, you can save a lot of time. You know, if you want to use something like this as a cheat, if you don't happen to have crushed tomatoes hanging around, you've got some leftover spaghetti sauce in your cabinet that needs using up, that's a great substitute for crushed tomatoes. It's essentially tomatoes anyways, and it just has a few other flavorings um, included in there. And if you choose a compliments balance, it's going to be lower in sodium as well, too. So, thanks very much for joining me today for our five-minute cooking school, and hopefully you'll be making some great alphabet soup for your lunches this week. Have a great day.